1989 Ford Bantam here. So it's an Escort, but it's a Bantam pickup. Uh, South African import, imported earlier this year. Full UK log, it's UK registered. You can see that's the correct number plate for the car. 1.6 carburetor petrol engine. Two tone, blue over white. Quite a pretty looking thing, this one. Body weight wise, we're going to start off with that front scuttle. All nice and tidy across the front scuttle. No rust coming through there are the windows. All lovely and clean. So we'll come around to the top. We've got a tiny little bit here at the top on the left hand side. And as we come down, a bonnet all nice and straight up both sides. A few little marks in the paint here on the right hand side, but the rest of the bonnet is all nice and tidy. As you come down that leading edge, you've got a few little bubbles in the paint here on that sort of front front nose of the bonnet. And the odd little stone chip as you come down the bottom edge all nice and straight. Light lenses are nice and clear, indicators are all good, the bumpers are nice and tidy as well, no big scuffle scrapes on the bumpers. So we come round to the right hand side again, nice and straight on there, around the wheel arch. All lovely and tidy, see that two-tone pit works nice and shiny. A little bit of a touch in here on the top of the driver's wing. Down the side, along the lower the bottom half, you can see nice and straight, a little bit of a mark here <laughs> on the door, but no few little stone chips on that lower half but no major corrosion and it hasn't got black short lines halfway up the door like you tend to get with it being South African import get a lot less rust than we get a little bit of a stone chip here on the driver's door around the handles nice and straight plastic wimmer caps are all good slight little window tint on it as well which we do quite like the roof itself it's all lovely and tidy. A little bit of a stone chip with a bleb here on the right hand side above the windscreen. The pillar itself is all good. As you come down the driver's door, I like say nice and straight on the swage lines, no big parking things or dents. You'll see here you've got the vehicle weight on the bottom there and its um, payload. payload on the top half there, so it'll carry nearly a ton of weight. All nice and standard and tidy down there. Looks really good on the two-tone. Perfect, usable advertisement vehicle. What do you think of this one? As you come down that rear quarter across the, the truck car, the truck bed, a little bit of a scratch there above the wheel arch, but the wheel arch itself, lovely and tidy. No corrosion coming through here. We'll do some dodgy camera work so you can have a good look at that lip there. See how nice and clean it is in there. Nice alloys all round on this one. Again, rear quarter there behind the wheel arch is lovely and straight. Around the rear bottom corner, lovely. The lights are nice and tidy. Lovely Ford emblem on the back there, on the back of that pit-up bed. The tailgate itself is nice and clean as well. A few little stone chips, but that's all to be sort of concerned. It hasn't had a hard life, this one. Tow bar fitted as well. If you notice on the left-hand side bottom corner here, a little bit of a crack in the plastic there. I'll show you the right-hand side so you can see. What's sort of missing there? As we come down the left hand rear quarter again, lovely and straight around the wheel arch. A few tiny little bits down here in the paint on the wheel arch itself. Again, lovely and straight down that quarter and down this side. A few little marks, little stone chips here and there, but that's all we need to be concerned about. Really good looking colour scheme on this one as well. As you come down the sills again, you've got your payload, the vehicle weight, and the leisure sticker there. A few little stone chips on the lower half. Again, sill looks to be nice. A tiny few little dents in the sill across there. And some stone chips. But like I say, no horrible big black salt sign or anything like that. Onto the passenger door, got a few little bubbles in the paint there, and a few around the handle. But no big scrapes or scratches. And a little scratch here behind the passenger door edge. Onto the front way again. Lovely and straight around the arch. Nice and shiny this one. And again, we'll have a look in the arch slip there so you can have a good look at that. Again, nice and straight. Sits really level as well. Interior wise, we've got that. Lovely Ford big bench seat there. A few stains on it, but no rips or tears. Door card itself is lovely and straight. No major marking to the plastic. 
dashboard is uncracked as well across both sides center console all the dials are there half a modded head unit five speed manual this one on the 1.6 carburetor engine showing 55,587 kilometers again inside the door checks all nice and tidy with a two-tone being done correctly on this one no horrible edges as we come into the pickup bed it's been obviously bed lined apologies it's a bit wet in there with pressure washing out yesterday spare wheels there not a matching alloy but there's a spare wheel there see the bed liner on there tailgate works as it shut closes nicely got this sort of protection on the edges as well with the torn over cover which is fairly simple to put on you can see Toby just put it on there with the elastic which is lovely and taut you've got a, a brace in the middle here as well nice and straight across there no rips or tears anywhere in that fits nice and snug on the corners Onto the passenger front door card again, nice and tidy in the door card, no rips or tears on that. The seat itself again, nice and firm, and no rips or tears, cigarette burns or anything like that in there. A little bit more on the dash top there, but that's all on the interior. We've got the original South African plates, like I say, it's UK registered, it's been in the country from the start of this year. Engine bay, all nice and tidy, correct paint in there as well. See how clean that is in here. On cold start up, it does take a couple of seconds. It will fire up, but you've just got to let it tick over for a couple of, for a minute or so, just to slowly warm up. And then once it's done that, it'll fire up like that all day long. No one wanted noise at all from that. And there you have it. 1988. Ford Bantam, South African import, all new UK, UK registered, two-tone, blue and white, ready to be enjoyed, ready for show season next year this one.